Hey, how you doing? This is Chuck Engler, Spring Piston Rifle Fever and Bible and Strength. We're going to do a video today on to find out whether your air rifle is strong enough to hunt with. We're starting all the way with a Daisy 880 on the table here. And I have uh, the Air Arms 8.4 grain pellets in it. Then we're going to jump up in power. This is like an 8 foot pound gun with 10 pumps. Then we're going to jump up in power and this is like about almost 13 foot pounds of energy 12 to 13 foot pounds with the walther terrace and underneath here we have a gamma varmint and that's 15 foot pounds of energy and then we got up here then we got the benjamin black lightning that's going to be 20 foot pounds of energy in 177 and after that we're going to go to the 22s and we got the gamma hornet maxim it's a 17 foot pound rifle and then we're going to shoot the Gamma Whisper Fusion Mach 1. And this is putting out 23 foot-pounds of energy. So I'm going to take you down 10 yards because 10 yards is probably a range where you're going to find Mr. Bunny or Mr. Squirrel devastating your bird feeder. I already did shoot this uh, a little bit. So hopefully it's going to turn out here for us. Let's see if I can see. I can see. All right, Daisy 880, come down first. Did I even hit it? I don't think that's it. I think this is my other shot. I'm going to go shoot again. Wow, there's a lot of penetration in here. That must have been the first shot. I don't know if this is calibrated right. This is something I got that was a throwaway. This is about seven inches of penetration. So we'll do the Walther Terrace next. And it looks like the Walther Terrace just went a little bit further. Not a big difference between 8 foot-pounds of energy and 12 foot-pounds of energy. Going up to 15 foot-pounds of energy. The Gamo Varmint. that to the right I think that must be right there so that's just a little bit further
right there. All right, coming up, the Benjamin Black Lightning. Went off before I wasn't even ready for it. I'm not even sure where it's at. I'm going to take one more shot. a lot more solid I'm just not sure where it's at though they're all pretty close together they're only like a two inches apart all right time for the 22 caliber 17 foot pounds Be able to see the pellet better. It's big. It's right down here. It's less than the 177. So, all right, we'll do the that was the Gamma Hornet Maxim. That was 17 foot pounds of energy, and it's right there. Now, we'll shoot 23 foot pounds of energy through the Gamma Whisper Fusion Mach 1. anymore I think that's it right there so what did we learn from this and like I said I don't know if this is calibrated exactly right uh, they're, they're all kind of the same they're all right in here all the way from the Daisy 880 all the way up to the Gamma Whisper Fusion Mach 1 Can't see anything like that. Can't hardly see anything like that. That's Lamo. Lots of Lamo ness. Anyhow, tell me what you think. All I know is, all that matters is, is your air rifle accurate enough? Can you hit something very small, like a ping pong ball, at ever whatever distance you're going to be shooting at? Consistently, can you hit that ping pong ping pong ball consistently with your air rifle? That's all that matters. If you have enough energy, close range, eight pound, eight foot pounds of energy will do it. For a squirrel, I'm going to put a question mark over that. They're flat out tough. I think something in the teens is good for a fox. Uh, Gray squirrels might be more weak, but the fox squirrels are absolutely tough. They have a very hard head. I've shot them in the head before, and I had to shoot them several times to finish the job. You get what I mean. Question, comment, like, subscribe if you like what you see. Please give my channel a like and subscribe because subscribing definitely will help my channel very, very much. Question, comment, like, subscribe. You have a great day.